Yeah, you feel so good again. Alright, alright. I got the stuff. I gotta carry him. You matched the car. I was like, whoa, like you matched the car. <laughs> Birthday. Thanks, bro. What's up, vlog? I had this vision, okay? And the vision was I wanted to write out all the panels, all the sizing, cut them all, label them, and then I wanted to sign like fender, sides, like just everything like assigned to each other and see how that goes if we kind of like plan the process. But I think that if we do it right, we have probably all of this and maybe a bumper wrap. A goal would be to knock this thing out as far and as thoroughly today. So I'd rather try to get this fully done today. I mean, it'd be dope if this is out on the road tomorrow. Like, at least outside. We start the lift kit early next week. What are we about to do, buddy? So we're about, we're about to cut some paddles. Mitch will talk to you guys about that. All right, so what I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Basically, with this being as big of a car as it is, we do have to be a little more strategic. Typically when we do cars, we just order about 25 yard rolls. Normally have a little bit left over, unless Johnny makes some catastrophic mistakes, like you saw in the GTR and stuff like that. Just kidding. Normally we have a little bit of extra. With such a big body car like this, I don't think we're gonna have any extra left over because basically fenders are, Fenders are gonna be bigger than 30 inches. You can't do the quarter panel and doors together because that's gonna be taller than 60 inches. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. So, there's gonna be a lot of planning involved in this car. We're gonna get to it, we're gonna start planning it out, getting our cuts made, and then from there, hopefully you'll see this car wrapped in a day. Let's see. What up guys? Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be installing a pre-cut pattern that goes right here on the Jetta. It's clear and you won't see it, but they serve a good purpose. I put them on basically all of my wife's cars. For sure they go on her cars because she's constantly pulling out a stroller and taking stuff out of the trunk. What happens a lot of times is this gets damaged here. If you're doing a lot of stuff in and out of your trunk, it's a good idea to have these patterns put on. It's a clear film. Uh, it's one of those things that won't be super impactful when you put it on like, wow, I just got something done. You won't see it, it's invisible, but It'll protect the car in the long run. So let's show you the process. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Oh. <laughs> all right, so step one is we're gonna clean bar the surface. We're gonna make sure this is clean before we attempt to put any paint protection film on it. Just like with vinyl, you wanna make sure the surface is nice and clean. I'm gonna use the clay bar lubricant. If you haven't seen our clay bar lubricant, cut back to the bottle, Hefe. Show them how good it looks, what kind of brand we're using here. Daniel's Miracle Lube. Bam! Best stuff in the business. Next step, so I'm just gonna lightly mist the panel down and lay this into place. There goes all the water. So if you see, <clears throat> once you start laying this, it becomes invisible. All I'm doing is pushing the water out towards the edges. I'm focusing on the flat side first. It is the easy side, so you're seeing the easiest part of it being laid. Five minutes after we started the install, we're done. It's really easy to do. Using the soap solution, like I said, all I did, if you watched, I just focused pushing the water out to the edges. I started from the center, worked this way, worked that way, and then I started from the center again and I worked down and then I was able to bring my rest of my remaining solution out this way, kind of in this shape. The next install we're gonna do is the door handle inserts. So you use your door handles more than probably anything on the vehicle. Every si single time you open up the door, you risk doing this, scratching this, or even if you're wearing a ring. I'm gonna clean out the surface. I'm gonna clay bar just this little area. We'll place the pre-cut inside. Starting from the center, I'm gonna lock it in here, work my water actually up and down.
What I noticed is that the less solution I use, the better. Just give it a light mist on these, get the water pushed out. On the bigger panel, use more water just so you have that flexibility to move it around. But with these, you're working with limited film, so you spray a little bit of water, it goes a long way. That was easy. So I spent about 20 minutes doing the rear bumper and all four door handles. Very easy to do, and it's gonna serve a good purpose. So you should do it. All right, so working on the hatchback for the Yukon right now, one of the things to note is there is a crease along here. We did do it in one piece. The way I started is started at the bottom and then I worked everything up just to feed this kind of crease in place. One thing about this that I don't like is you can kind of see there's kind of like a really ugly weld line. So like it looks like a bubble going across here, but it's literally just the bead of the trunk. So you want to feed that all into place. You don't want to lay it over and then push your finger through it because that'll all start to pop up over time. What's up guys? Big shout out to the shipping team guys. Look at that. That is full as hell. Sorry, excuse my language. That is full. Not to mention they still have stuff on the floor. Let's see how Hef is doing. What is he working on? Yo, what up? How you doing? I'm over here <laughs> editing right now. Your boy behind the camera, this guy right here has actually been killing it. Yo. Right here with the footage really helping out premium. Daniel still managed to look stressed. I'm and if you guys, I was just messing with him. my birthday. I can tell oh, you his birthday. Right. I can, listen, I'll tell you, if you go follow me and comment premium fam, I'll give you his blade. Comes with the super sharp Opa 30 degree standing steel blade. It's super powder sharp. Coating? Powder coat red. Coating. With that custom powder coat. Happy birthday to you guys. Literally since I've been in, what, since 10 o'clock, I've been caught up in something else. But these guys took the opportunity to get to work, make it happen. If they didn't do that, no cars would get done. Shout out to these guys. They killed it. We're gonna go have lunch real quick and then we'll come back. Our plan was to finish up the whole chassis today, get all the doors, quarter panels, hood, fender. We're probably gonna do bumpers tomorrow, but everything else will be done. What the f what? are you guys doing? We're waiting on you. To take no, no. What the f are you guys doing? What? You take four hours snorting back there. You're the birthday boy. You're the one that has to go out first. All right. Uh, I'm driving the helicopter today. Can I? Sure. I'm fucking concerned. What the f are you guys laughing about? Oh. <laughs> Freaking bitch just came over here and started yelling at me because I was cursing. We had it all. I was too young. Way too young. I'm done it. back from lunch Daniel's just outside and then I went to the back room filled up this someone Surprise. that wants to meet him we're gonna show him wish him a happy birthday we got cake and some presents for him you guys ready we have a customer that wants to say happy birthday to you is that okay yeah 
Liars. Wait, what's going on? You guys are liars. Let them know. Hey, wait, what are you doing? It's your... huh? There's a customer that wants to meet me? Yeah. All right, well, a customer wants to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> she's hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woo, yeah, Damn. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't no shit gonna jump out at me, right? No. Hope not. You want to open your other presents too? Oh yeah. Sorry. Frosting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got here? That's Mimi. That's Mimi. <laughs> That's Mimi's box. <laughs> I know you get kind of lonely sometimes, man. <laughs> the sad thing is all blurred out. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna eat that. You guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I figured you had to trust that on Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's, the, where's the fourth one? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> there, was, there was only three in here, bro. The world needs more people like you. That's a lot. All right, all right. Oh, sweet. <laughs> a million dollars? <laughs> a million dollar gift card? Yeah, well, um, find our words too. We all went bankrupt. <laughs> we use a premium PayPal account. Dude, you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much. Anything you want to say? I'm appreciative. I appreciate this. That means a lot. Thank you guys. Alright. Thank Can you. Can we get some tears for clickbait? Bumpers and then onto the extensive job that it's going to be to remove all of the chrome. We got door handles, we got window trims, all the side moldings, we have the steps, we have the roof rack. There's a lot of chrome to do on the car. It may look like a lot of the car is done, but trust us, there's still a lot to go. So we will see you again tomorrow. So that's going to be the end of the day for today. Don't forget, at 200,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away another car wrap. Say hi to Anthony. Hi guys. I'm here to close it out for myself because I'm tired and I want to go home. You got it. All right guys, at 200,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free car wrap. Cannon, where, where are we gonna go to? Anywhere in the world. Where do you wanna go? This guy. Like New York or Ooh. Japan or something like that. New York would be tight. I think that's pretty much everything. All right guys, thanks for watching this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.